super skinny. Bang. Bang. Come on now. Bang. One more, one more for good measure. Bang, nice. What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're back and grounded. Gathering up some clay. Need more foundations for our builds. Eh. <laughs> so I'm a little confused when it comes to the respawn rate of the clay because I noticed that around the surrounding areas, around the lakes or ponds or water swells really the puddles if you will the clay used to gather a bunch in the bottom of the the water there and now it doesn't do that not so much there's a piece of candy for you i suppose i don't remember actually hitting this but it seems like the ones that are underwater take a longer time to spawn because the ones that are on the outside of the pond don't seem to have a problem oh my god i'm gonna die <gasps> Come on, get this out of here, brother. Nice. So I've been doing a couple things off camera, mostly because I've had some real life things. If you've been following in the feed, I'm gonna appreciate all the love and support and all of the fanfare and people that uh, give me well wishes. Had a couple uh, home problems, flooding mostly in my basement. Had over 23 inches of water in my basement this week. So uh, this is why there was a lack of video content because I was, too busy trying to get buckets and dump some pumps. Hence the reason why you're not going to see Hydra here on this game uh, on my on my channel for quite some time. It was just so triggering. And then I came back in here and I was like, man, I really hope they don't update this game to have uh, weather conditions like floods and things like that. Because I'll be triggered. I'll be so triggered. Is there any other clay in here? Ah, here's some. Although next to the walls is pretty sketch. Super duper sketch. Lots of spiders. Come on now. There we go. I have a feeling that this is going to be one of the last ones along with this John here. Nothing seems like it wants to respond for me. Uh. Eh. But that's okay. So what we're doing is we're building up foundations uh, mostly for buildings because we are in the middle of building a grass city. A city full of grass. Some stoners are like, oh my god. It's my dream. Not that kind of grass, not that kind of grass, but I see where you're going and I appreciate it. Let's go ahead one more time here with this clay. Um, I just wanted to have a couple of extra buildings. Makes it seem like uh, we're making a whole civilization, even though it's just me doing it. It's what pleases me. And it's what pleases me most about this game, especially since the story isn't finished yet. So what's the point of actually going out? Oh, hey, larva. What's up, larva? Farva larva. But we built up already a solid, solid ground. A solid foothold, if you will. Oh, my inventory's full, huh? Is it now? We can go ahead and trash that pebble there. Grab you, grab you. Plant fiber, I don't need you either. I have so many plant fibers that it can make me gag if I don't watch myself. Uh, and there's one right in the center here. Anytime you guys want to go. Anytime you guys want to front. What's up? Eh. Oh, y'all want some action too? Bang! Gladly. Gross bugs. Ah. Yeah, so definitely on the way back, we'll have to get some weed stems. There are some uh, a couple weed stems on the way back that I can snag up. We do have a couple things we have to further build. Of course, that's every day. Oh, what's going on there, stink bugs? What you doing over there? Doing your little stink bug stuff? With your gross butts? Doing little, doing weird kind of butt stuff? Whatever. This might be pushing it. This might be pushing it. Oh, <laughs> there's a thing of clay right next to that sleeping little stink bug. There's one. There's another one off in the distance there too. It's stink bug heaven over here, mania. It's stink bug mania. Listen, mites, you want to dance? We can dance. You want to go? Oh, we can go. Ha-ha. Piece of candy, piece of candy. Fantastic. All right. Let's make our way back to the crib. We got some weed stems. We got fat stacks. And, oh, what is this? 
do, 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 do. I've made a wall. That's almost like a little mini town. It's going to get bigger. It's going to get bigger, folks. Check it out. Making buildings over here. We're getting foundations set. Hold on. Let me put, let me put down these logs here. Eh. Aha! So right now we're currently building this building over here. We got this wall that keeps all the bugs out. Mostly made of foundations and palisade gates. Well, the palisade gates are just the gates, but the palisades, I've been thinking about just stacking palisades across the uh, sides here. Just add, give a little added protection. I don't think we actually need that added protection. Um, usually if we attack anything from up top here, like a stink bug or a spider, the spiders will attack the, the walls here, and that's fine. That's good. That's what I want, want them to do. But if I go over, they got a little hub over here, right through there. As you can see there's a spider web there, but right through there, coming out, bang. There are usually two or three of them. If I go over there and attack them, they will run around the back, and they'll attack the back wall that I have not quite completed yet. And then after I show you this, I'll show you what we got going on. Let me put the put the knife away. Put the knife away. Ah, as you can see, this is why we needed all those foundations and all that clay. Woo! Beautiful. So yeah, if I start attacking spiders, if I go all the way over to making sure they're not doing a roundabout on me, flankency, flankency. Oh, so if I hit them right now. Or if I go on that side and shoot them, they will run all the way over here, all two or three of them, and they'll just start attacking this wall. So we really got to build this jam up here, man. We really got to make some towers. But not today. <laughs> In this back gate, got some palisade gates here. Nice. My dream, the idea is to have buildings all along the area, filling up the certain spots, giving our area here a little bit of mystique. We actually had to make this a little wider, so we had to go two more, see where those two uh, grass pads are. We gotta go and build lengthwise. Why? Because I want to, no particular reason. And then over here is the end of the Palisade Gates. Sometimes we get a few, a few Johns in here. Oh no. We get a few things in here that uh, could harm. And we're going to need those weevils. So don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to come back for your meat, weevil. Don't you worry about that. Hold on a second. Let me go ahead and start building up here. Boop. 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 There's, an, there's a weevil stuck in this log over here. And it drives ants crazy. <laughs> as it should. As it should. So what is the plan over here? This is going to be our fields of mushrooms, our mushroom fields. I'm going to put mushrooms down here, and we're going to start picking all this fun stuff up, and I'm going to make a silo over here. Now, the reason why I'm moving this over a smidge, a bit a tad... Oh, we need some agua, do we? Do we now? Do I have any agua in my, in my sack? I do not. I have to extend this out. Go ahead, and I'm going to put this down here, because it's going to be a big-looking... Does it have to be a big silo, though? Does it really have to be? Can we kind of make it through the snail? I think we can make it through the snail. I just want to make it. Yes. Yes. Come on. You know you want to. There we are. We will. We're going to have to... Beautiful. Boom. Does I want to make it look like a silo for all of our foods? It may not be something that we knock out today, but it is the plan of action. Build this up. We'll build you up. And do I need to go down here? You know what? I don't think people are really going to really going to look at it. This and that gap. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Yeah, so this is the reason why I was like, man, I really hope that there is no water or any kind of weather 
added to the game when I come back to it because I was uh, very fearful. I would have been really put out. Wow, there must be like a whole civilization of bugs underneath here. Like a whole set of weevils. So you know what we gotta do? You know what we need to do? Get rid of the weevils. Put this away here. And let's grab our bow and arrow. And let's change the ammo. I got three gas arrows. And we'll smoke them out. Just so I stop hearing the cries. Dead. Now we actually can't go in there for a little bit there. It's fine. Now I'm thinking, yeah, we're gonna need some water. I might have messed up here because I would like this. There we go. So let's go ahead and we'll round this out. Over, under, in and out. Yes, I know I need water. I know, I know, I know. What's going on, clown? You get back here, I'm gonna hang you up. Need you for some food. All right, it's gonna be soon towards dinner time. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah. Nice, weevil jerky, gnat jerky. We're hanging them up. Hang you up. We're gonna hang you up. I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna eat you. And now we're gonna be better for it. I've also moved our spider web water collectors out here. Got two of them along with these two bins. That way we can save up as water much water just in case. Ah, uh, yes, a new day. So, as you can see, we are knocking out this building. It's basically just there for show. Why am I doing it this way? Because it's my choice. I can do what I want. All right. So we have multiple different ways to get onto the wall. We got this ramp over here that brings us over to our bin. Oh, I got to get some shells for you. And the plan here is to have some extra arrows and places to build arrows just in case we get attacked and I run out. We got to man this wall here too with a couple of different torches so we can see things at night because our future is so bright. And I put some shells here. Let me get my gra let me get my gas arrow down here, brother. Anything in here? Lovely. And we just need una mas, one more shell. So we have this area here as well as we got this chest to make stuff. And then you can go down. We have a second tier. Just in case things get a little too hectic and they're actually breaking through, you can shoot them from up top here. Got a little... Got a little area ways, and plus we have another area where you can shoot over top just in case they start charging in. We're gonna need some clovers for roofs. And I'm going to need more grass. Eh, eh, hit. Hut. Hut. Quick thing though, is it really necessary for me to chop one thing of grass down and get all this plant fiber? Is it necessary? The amount of plant fiber that I get from a nice chop session, my bad, Weevil, my bad, my bad, but I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry, Weevil. The amount of plant fiber that just rolls out of here is just stupid. It's to the point where I have to pick a lot of it up and then just trash it. Not that I'm saying that I don't mind it, I enjoy it. I do need plant fiber from time to time, but not all the time as much. I know, I know, I'm hungry and thirsty. Hut, hut, hut. Hey, all right. And it seems like our mushroom stopped regenerating here too, so that's a bummer. So is this something where I have to recycle this and then rebuild it? I'm unaware. And also, this was our original uh, uh, water collector, and it doesn't collect as much water as it used to. It's kind of a bummer. Well, we got some water saved up. Let's go ahead and drink, my friend. Drink. Consume. Let's go ahead and start on the roof. Beautiful. Pop you there. 
That should be enough for you. Let's put that there. How about you? I'm missing a bunch of grass. That's fine. We can chop down some grass, no problem. Lickety split. But let's get this roof together here. And the clover is what makes the roofs many, much, many, much more better. Now, I'm making a bunch of different buildings just kind of as an appeasement to my own uh, my own base building wants, needs, cares. I like to have separate buildings, separate areas for separate things. Call me weird. So one building will have like the smoothie station. One place will have like a place for food as we have the silo going on over here. A place for arrows to be built over on the walls and over on this wall too once it's completed and built up. Um, I kind of want to have a water collection. This water collection area is nice over here. Maybe make it look a little nicer. I'm not quite sure. Maybe you have some comments, uh, some ideas, some hints, tips, tricks of what I can build to have a little water tower. I think that'd be kind of nifty. A really narrow water tower. Maybe, ah, I think I got an idea for it. I think I just got an idea for it. I think I just got an idea for it. Plus, I like to have these clovers here when you first walk in. And I think the development team did a fantastic job making all of the buildings look like you're in a jungle survival and nothing likes too nothing is too modern or sciencey you know what i'm saying you know you're a regular human being but it is nice to have a very jungle like building environment and i gotta jump up here bang and bangerang we're gonna need a bunch of different weed stems to try and knock out this section and plus the roof because I got these weeds. I got this weed, man. I'm trying to hook it up. Got these weeds. And I have it set there just to add a little bit of separation so that it has a nice appeal to the eye. Also, this has a basement. <laughs> a basement with basement windows. Woo! And a little side panel for you to get out. Oh, so perfect. It's so perfect for the most part. And I know people are going to be like, it's not symmetrical. I'm freaking out. Uh, unfortunately, I can't build any kind of walls through the leaf. I can build foundations through the leaf, which is seen. It seems silly to I can build a foundation right through the leaf. But the walls, I can't merge into it to make the aesthetic look pleasing to the eye. It's a bummer. It's a real bummer. But unfortunately, you got to do what you got to deal with. And that's what we got to deal you with. I don't know why I'm going British. Or Dick Van Dyke British. My apologies to my friends across the pond. Uh, weed stems. Oh my god. It's a bombardier. It's a bombardier. It's a bombardier bug. What's up? What's up, clown? What's good? We just... It just missed us. Is there any way I can get on top of something? Whoa, whoa. We need to get over there. We need to get over there now. Oh no, I, I used the gas bomb. Oh God. These things are super dangerous. They're super aggravated, bro. What's up, clown? Got you right between the eyes, didn't I? Oh, what's the matter? Now you're stuck. Best not shooting any of that nasty junk over here, man. I'll kill you. I'm gonna kill you good. And we need some gas and acid, too. Why not? Die. Drop dead. You clown. You're gross. Has anyone ever told you that? You're gross. I don't like you. I ain't feared. This is what we're here for. Adil, you have a, uh, uh, a more upgraded axe. Why don't you use that? Well, that axe is so upgraded that sometimes when I swipe, I do an extra swipe sometimes, it'll take out the whole, the whole, the whole stem here, man. And you do not want to do that because that's a wrap then for that particular resource eh. I still haven't had weed stems like the actual weed weed stems grow back so I have a feeling that those do not grow back yeah I know I'm thirsty thank you robot who asked you one 
two. Will this work for me? It will. Ha ha. Awesome. Beautiful. Now we just need regular grass, which we'll have plenty of. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. What else we got? I know we got some more over here. Oh, candy. Nice. Almost done with this building. Almost. Not really, though. Still have the roof to go. But it's coming along. Let's see you. Boom. And let's start making these walls here. Awesome. Looking real nice. Now we just need to get the ceiling up in check. We should be A-OK. -okay. There's always that stink bug. The stink bug likes to just take a nap right outside my door. And he's welcome to it, you know. It was his it was his land before mine. But let's not get let's not get it twisted here. It is my land. I own this place. Oh my god, with all the food. Uh boom. What? Ba boom. What else we got? I know we got some naffy. There we go. Con consume. Okay, so now I'll just need a sprig, a sprig, and seven more grass pieces here. One, two, three, four. Always check, look up whenever you chop something down because there might be some pieces that are landed on top of some mushrooms. And see, like right there, there's some plant pieces up here. Boom, you never know. And sometimes they get it up here as well. Oh, piece of candy. It's right in front of my face. So now we should be done with the building itself. And I know it may not look the prettiest, but it's not like we have a whole lot of options here. I'm just doing my best with what we got in front of us. And I think it's going to look pretty nice. Hey, we got a door. All right. Beautiful. Okay, I'll put you here. And let's say... We're going to have to get a sconce. Some sconces. Where are you at, sconces? Now, the thing about sconces is that they do not plant on foundations. They only plant on actual building blocks, which I kind of dig, but at the same time, it's kind of a bummer. That's the reason why I can't do too much when it comes to the ways... Of putting torches outside the walls. This is basically just going to be here to light this joint up. Boom. And we need sap, sprigs, and dry grass, which we have plenty of. Some sprigs here. Sap. Y'all getting too sappy on me, bro. My, what a lovely chunk of sap you have. I think I would like to have all that sap. Yeah. Huh. Ha! Yeah! We are strong like bull. Boop, boop. Take that sprig. Nice. And I think we have a bunch of dry grass. If not, we just gotta chop some down. Is that a hole? No, it's not. Okay, I thought it was a piece. <laughs> that was a weed log there, and I just missed it. Do we have any extra sap? We sure do. And I got a bunch of things in here I got to kind of get rid of here. Our sorting, not a great sorting system, but, you know, it's what we got to work with at the current time. Can we get rid of that? Thank you. Do I have any? I do. And we'll just toss this stuff in here. Looking okay. Everything is looking kind of all right. Boom. Light that up. Oh, wah, wah, wee, wah, wah. Close the door. Where do you live in a barn? I live in the jungle. Does that, does that count? It does. Oh, we're down one sprig. Hold on a second. We got it. We got this. We got this. Boom. And knocking it out of the park. Now, let's take a look at it from afar. Hmm. 
Oh yeah. That looks all so that's all, looks all sorts of sexy. Now we need to put one of those jams in here, like a little light just in the background here. Just kind of give it some sweet, sweet ambiance. We might as well go ahead and see I you can't put it directly in the center and I'm triggered. So we'll put that there. And we'll put that other one right here. Just to let everyone know that we mean business. Ugh. Okay, so what do we need for this jam? Do sprigs. We need sprigs, sap, and dry grass. Okay. All right. Tell you what, with the, when we build this city and have it all lit up, it's going to look real amazing at night. I have a feeling it's going to drop our frames down to like 10. But, you know, take what you can get. Go ahead and light you up. Oh, you got to be yanking me. We're missing one sprig. Can you believe this? Ow, ow. There's the last sprig that we need. See, it would be cool to have just a nice lit area. So what I'm going to try and do is up on top is we're going to have some, I think we probably just have some grass walls. And then that way we can mount more of these torches to kind of show off a little bit, you know? Let's make it look nice. And then we can put some more things around the area. Where am I going? Where am I going? Uh, I'm going this way. Mm, boom. Hey, and we got light. I have made fire. Awesome. Fantastic. It's coming along. So yeah, man, let me know what you think in the comment section down below of the plans that we have forward. We have some of the amazing farms and a silo to hold all of our food. From weevils to spoiled meat, it's all gonna be held inside this one area. We might make it a uh, two higher, maybe one higher. I don't know. I don't know. I have an idea now for our water tower. I'm gonna to put that water tower over in this section over here. You know, a little closer to the water there. We got a lot of work to do. A lot of work. So again, I do apologize for the lack of content this week. Some real things happened in, uh, you know, real life happens and then you know, gotta take care of some things. Ain't no big thing, chicken wing. Any water? Really? No water? <sighs> Heavy sigh. Heavy sigh. Oh, but this looks pretty dope. It does. But folks, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button, helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos come out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night. Peace out, like shout, y'all, and I will check you out right here again in Grounded next time. Okay, fun. Fun. No, no water for me? No water for me to succeed?